Hey guys. Hey, what's up? So we made it. Two weeks, the last two weeks have been crazy here. Yes, it's been so busy, but God really moved and we're really excited to share with you guys a little bit of what we experienced. Check out these clips. Hello, hello. hello. What's going on? Here we go, on our way to Tereba, we just got done eating breakfast and we have both busetas, both minibuses with us right now. They're one from the church and the North Americans and we are on our way. Check in with you later, bye. Eso. Pasó en el medio. Espera, espera, espera. Ahí le dan. Para, para, para. All right, so I'm standing in one of the classrooms. Um, we started at 2.30. We got here and got lunch, and I got started bringing up these wall sections. And I'm standing in a room right now, and this one's, the walls are all up. It's done. And as you come out here, you can see, here's the other room. So we got a few more in the front here, and the walls are up first day it's only five o'clock right now we've done it in like two and a half hours and this is crazy yeah yeah, yeah. 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 What are you doing? Ah, what is it? Um, the official name, can you help me out with that? It's Jello. Okay, well, yeah, Jello. Gelatina. Gelatina. In yeah. little baggies. Yep. And then each niño, niña, uh -huh. comes to the BBS. We'll enjoy a nice... Ooh. Uh, it smells like strawberry. It is. It, it is. is. Fresa. Yep. So all the baldosas, all of the wall sections are up in the entire place now. So you can see those are the two classrooms. And down here, we have the bathrooms. So here's the bathroom, first one, second one and the shower so you can see completely all installed in like two and a half three hours pretty incredible super proud of the team they've worked super hard and it's just awesome <laughs> Levántate, Pedro, mata y come. Según las leyes de Dios, está prohibido.
As you can see, the uh, roof is going up. We got the the main tubes already up. And so next, we got to put in the what we um, they would call them purling or clavadores, and that has to go on top of those so we can attach the roof to something. Okay guys, this is it. Um, if you've been following us, you know that even a month, month and a half ago, this was just a flat piece of land. And um, the people here in Terraba have been working to get us, get it ready for us, get the posts in and things like that. And then the last three and a half days we worked, or the guys worked on the building itself. And so this is a classroom and the openings are gonna be windows, so they're not finished quite yet. And um, they completely finished with the floor though. And so, and they even ran the electrical. And so it's very, very, very close. And we see a lot of emotion here as we've been told that the late pastor had a dream about this and it's, I'm sure, what he imagined or more because God is that good. Here's the other classroom. And as I said, the openings are where there are gonna actually be some like open air windows. And there's pastor. <laughs> and they're just finishing up the installation of the things in the bathroom like um, the toilets, the sinks, things like that. But it's very, very close and we know that God is going to bless it and use it for greater things for this community and for his kingdom. We never would have imagined all that God did and is still doing through that week in Thera. Yeah, the, the way that God truly impacted Terba, the community of Terba, but then also the people from the United States and the people from Santo Eulalia. There are people we know, our friends, that are getting called into missions right now. Yep, it's pretty awesome, and we can't wait to see what God does. Thank you for being a part of everything that's gone on so far.
God bless you. Take care. Bye.